Today is day four of the climate festival at Azim Premji University. And we've had, even though it was a weekend, we've had hundreds of students visit the campus to look at the different exhibits, look at the public art installations, look at the intern stories that we have displayed across different locations in the university. And it, it's been very exciting to watch children look at each of the panels that talk about different stories from the mountains. And each story speaks about an element of uh, the beauty of the mountains in terms of its biodiversity, the people who live there, and even about, in some cases, the fragility. One of the most interesting parts of the, mountain, uh, the Mountains of Life Climate Festival has been my uh, personal journey, which I took and I participated in the looking at the uh, Eastern Ghats, the, evol the geological evolution of the Eastern Ghats, looking at uh, cities and towns and sites in uh, the Eastern Ghats, which I had seen as a child because I had grown up in the shadow of the Eastern Ghats, but looking at them very differently. So, we had sacred towns like Tirupati, Sri Shalem that we know for a certain reason because people visit them as sites of pilgrimage. But I got the chance and the opportunity to look at them as geological marvels. And not many people know that along with Tirupati uh, is the Shilatoranam Arch, which is a geological wonder as it is only one of the three uh, stone arches in the world. Uh, we also went to the Gandhi Kota, which is known as the Grand Canyon of uh, India. The river Pena cuts through this beautiful gorge and it's an absolutely wonderful sight to sit and look at the soaring birds over the canyon. We visited the Balam Caves and also the Akamahadevi uh, Caves, which are a part of uh, near the Sri Shalem Reservoir, where Akamahadevi, a uh, Bhakti saint, is said to have uh, lived her, her days. So it's been a wonderful experience personally for me. I about this program, Mountains of Life. I mountains of Life. 2005, Kailash Manasharavar Yatra Trek Madhi Dhe. Aage Doladar, Bala, Avela Hoge Dhe. Lip Lake Pass and Tha. Ili Vandhu Vedhe Tho. Vandhu Panel. Adrali, Kem Dhuno Torest Himalaya, Adala Torest Dhaare. Adrali, Pass as Kode Torest Dhru. One lady I met, she tried to explain me so much, so well. Then she said about the pass. And th then I told her, yes, I had gone through that lip lake pass that time, uh, crossed that thing. And the hell there. One thing I'm getting remembered also, pass and we think it is a straightforward road and thaila. It is again climb down. Or, <laughs> but it is, a, you cannot. Drive through mountains or walk through mountains. So these are the places where you can cross over the place and that. And one more thing I wanted to say that panel that had Everest mountain replication. I do hinge it through. Then again, so to that no idea. Bala Santosh. Otherwise, when we take photograph of that also, it showed as if it is like a wall. Beyond that, there is nothing. Uh, the uh, Himalaya, Hindagade, any land, tan satte. But adhno di dre, adra Hindagade kuda idhi de. It is because we are on the ground level. We look at uh, like this. Otherwise, ananta. Uh, though I had gone through Lip Lake Pass and seen the other side of Himalayas, but still, ananta, idu ashtu this. Panel and this type of exhibitions that really give us more uh, knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I had gone to uh, Maklud Ganj and um, many places of Rajasthan and that um, Aravali and many places. Sayadri, I was in um, Panchigan, uh, Panchigan in uh, that uh, Lonavala. I used to cross every time from Bombay to Pune via Lonavala. This one, once upon a time, mountains and the, this um, valley life was peaceful. But these days, lot of pilgrims are uh, the travelers, the um, tourists. They're spoiling the place. And one more thing, I must tell you, in uh, our uh, Kailash Manishadvar Yatra had seen, there is a belief that they leave old clothes. So they leave the clothes on the mountain everywhere they are throwing it like garbage 
I felt very, very sad. It's such beautiful nature, giving us beautiful scenes, whereas we are, whereas we are uh, spoiling it. And uh, I don't know what, how can they get punya doing such rubbish things. This type of, so much of knowledge I got from this, but I'm, one way I feel sorry that my age, if I this is extended, I could use this knowledge further. <laughs> I, feel, I feel only that sad thing for me. It is very much needed. They have to watch. I wanted to, in fact, call my grandfather son's school, tell them to come and watch, send their children here. I, I might go now on the way and tell them that message. And I wanted other schools also to come and watch. Such a beautiful thing. And this Prem, Ajim Premji University, I should, I should pay my respects to them. They are doing such a lot of things to make people aware of the th harm we are committing to the nature and environment and the society in large. The Mountains of Life Festival, which is being held in the Azim Premji University Bangalore campus right now, is open till the 26th of November. We welcome you to come visit the, uh, the Climate Festival and see the work of all our interns and the student volunteers who have been a part of this uh, festival and join us in celebrating the mountains from all corners of the country. Thank you.